everybody. Welcome to another Partners Innovation. Today, my guest is going to be Christine Anderson from the Guardian Fine Arts and Warehouse. And that, I, I kind of think, what is that about? So it's going to be really lovely to really get to know Christine and what she does. Hi. Hi, Trish. It's great it's, to see you. Oh, Christine, it's so nice to have you. I, You know, first of all, I want to ask you, um, Tell me about how your story started. How did you get in this business? And well, what exactly is it? Well, Trish, um, thank you. My, my background is in art history. And uh, for many years, I worked in the Milwaukee Fine Art Galleries and um, met many people that way and many artists. And um, recently, well, I shouldn't say recently, about three years ago, I started working for Guardian Fine Art Services and The Warehouse. That's owned by John Shannon and Jan Sayre. They're big art supporters of our community, uh, in the community. They're art collectors, um, and they're just wonderful people that do a lot for the arts in Milwaukee. Wow. And I know that you've been, you know, we, we did one of your exhibits here you know that you've shared some of your incredible artwork so my next question is, can you just share some of the different collections at at guardian certainly so um, guardian started partly because john and jan are such big art collectors and when they when it was time for them to start reviewing their collection uh, for insurance purposes they didn't have enough room in their home um, to really take a look at things and they realized there was no fine art um, storage in, in the city. Chicago would have been the nearest place. So they, um, they have about 3,600 items in their art collection wow. from all over the world, but also all over Wisconsin and Milwaukee. And um, they purpose renovated a building. And so the collection moved to that building. And one of the goals of uh, Jan Sayre and John Shannon is to share their collection with the community. So we do that through our little private art museum, which is free and open to the public, and that's called The Warehouse. And so The Warehouse uh, organized a Schomer Lichtner, Ruth Grotenroth exhibition in your um, uh, door la door. In our door la door. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I purchased one of those pieces. Oh, that's great. I love that artist. Oh, that's, yeah, he's wonderful. Yeah. A v really um, influential Milwaukee artist. Had a big influence on Jan Sayre, as a matter of fact, when she was in undergrad school at um, UW-Milwaukee. So uh, that's one way that we can share um, shows from the collection. We also have curated exhibitions quarterly. Uh, that change in the warehouse space. That's a 4,000 square foot exhibition space. Plenty of room for social distancing. Wow. Um, right now, we're not open by regular hours, but we are open for uh, small groups who would like to have a private museum experience. That is amazing. Well, and I've been to your museum, and I just, I kind of want to live there. It's, it's so beautiful. Is, is most of the work then Wisconsin artists? Um, it's really a, a big mix. Uh -huh. uh, they, there are, are seven different areas that we've identified that are sort of concentrations of the collection. Obviously, 3,600 items, it's a lot to know wow. what, what you know, for, for somebody from the outside like me looking in on a computer screen to see what we have. Right. Um, but right. We do have a lot of Wisconsin artists, but we also have international artists. Um, Japanese wow. contemporary is another uh, interesting concentration within the collection. That is so cool. And then one of the things that I thought was really interesting about the building is the way that if somebody, for example, if somebody was selling their house and they weren't quite ready to move in somewhere else or they had something valuable that they wanted to store, then you have the storage, and how does it work? Like, how is the security? How does that happen? Certainly. So the the building is designed for art storage. It is a 1924 um, brick building made of fer with ferrous concrete. So it's very, mm -hmm. it's it's a really ideal for storage. Um, and we have short plans and long plans, but as far as security goes, um, we we can't talk too much about 
the collections that are sure. within sure. the building because of sure. our confidentiality Absolutely. policy. Um, um, it's open by appointment. Once our visitors are in the lobby, they really can't go anywhere without a key or a fob or somebody escorting them. And um, another part of the security is keeping the artwork safe, not just with our bank-like security, but also through the climate control. And it's very strict in terms of um, 70 degree temperature and 50% humidity. And that's wow. according to the guidelines of the American Alliance of Museums. So all the HVAC systems, plumbing, electricity, fire suppression, all those things are brand new and really designed to protect the collections within. That is, that is just such a great service. And I've been in the building and you've taken me to those spots and I'm just totally impressed. You know, it's, it's just the best way you could store anything that of your collections or something you wanted to pass on to your loved ones and... Absolutely, and yeah. um, some people might store one small box of family photographs that are precious to them that they just want in a very stable, safe environment in an archival box. Um, other people store big things. Uh, one collector who I can speak a little yeah. bit about um, has the the old Bucks floor from the Mecca, the Robert Indiana wood floor no. stored in our building. Um, other collectors <laughs> who are downsizing uh -huh. uh, have us come to their home, move things into a private vault, and then they decide, well, it's time for me to try to get some of these pieces to the auction house or I'd like to have a potential client come in to see to see the collection so we will actually set up their private vault like a little mini art gallery so they can have visitors co come and see what they have and they can negotiate directly on maybe making a sale um, what and a if, great service we, we try to help all things art so whether it's you need advice um, about a framed piece mm -hmm. you're not sure if it's framed safely and archivally we can give you uh, a, a condition assessment or a conservation assessment to see what might need to be done to correct a situation it's what a it's just so great it's, it's pretty comprehensive um, I know that everyone at Guardian connects um, some way with art Tell me about some of the other people that, that you work with. Certainly. Well, coming from the top, John Shannon, who's okay. the uh, chief operating officer, being an art collector and being married to an artist, that says a lot right there. Um, our registrar, who is um, responsible for keeping track of everything in the collections as pieces come and go um, by, the, by our clients. Um, she has a museum background, and um, and <clears throat> she has a museum background, and um, operates just the way a museum registrar would operate in terms of keeping things safe, making sure conditions are right, um, arranging transportation if they're loaning something or shipping something. The the art. Um, <clears throat> The art handlers, that's this, they're also part of the collections team. They've all gone through the UW uh, collection, excuse me, the UW uh, Museum Studies program mm -hmm. at UWM. So they're graduate, they're graduate, they have graduate degrees. They um, have been through extensive training with our registrar for art handling. And so they're very comfortable dealing with fragile pieces carefully, assessing what needs to be done, whether it's packing uh, and building a crate and, and arranging transportation or um, helping somebody move to a new home and hang their, their artwork for them. Wow. And on any, on any level, from one piece to 100 pieces. So professional and, and really, and great backgrounds. Yes. Which is really great. Tell me a little bit about um, your Midwest Art Shuttle. So that's actually very exciting news. Okay. We just we just started that. We've added to our fleet. Uh, we now have a 20-foot box truck with air ride cushion, uh, temperature control, GPS monitoring, a lift gate. Um, so all the things that museums are looking for to be able to put something fragile on a truck and get it safely from point A to point B. Um, we're trying to help museums, artists, galleries expand their reach with the shuttle so we can reasonably and safely 
uh, transport from Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, all points in between. We just added a Door County uh, route and everybody up there is very excited. Um, so this is something that previously uh, folks in Milwaukee would have had to contact uh, companies in Chicago to, to be able to do this, which obviously adds quite a lot to the cost. Wow, you, you really are doing so many so many There's things. There's a lot of balls in the air. There are a lot of <laughs> balls in the air, but it, and and really every time, just to walk into this this, it's a really like a private museum when you're in there. A, a lot of yeah. thought and care and planning went into creating a safe, secure, but also welcoming space. So it's definitely not sterile. Um, the lobby always has some interesting little art piece from the collection. Um, on display and um, lots of auction catalogs and art books. Uh, so if people need a break from whatever they're doing in their storage vaults, they're welcome to hang out in the lobby and uh, relax a little bit. Oh, everybody's got to see this. I mean, this this is a jewel. This is a really a jewel in the city that most people don't know about. That's why I'm so glad you're here to promote your services because it really is truly a gift to the city. Uh, I wanted to ask you, about the, the collection management piece. Yes, so collection management covers a sort of a broad range of topics. Um, collection management is important for the collector for insurance purposes mm -hmm. or for estate planning. Mm -hmm. um, if you're about to ship a piece of artwork, you need to know that that piece of artwork is stable. If it's an old oil painting on canvas, chances are you're going to want to have an assessment done mm -hmm. before you ship because you don't want to lose little pieces of paint or have more cracks um, sure. up here. So there's there's a ways of um, assessing, stabilizing, and then carefully transporting that type of work. So for insurance purposes, it's always great to get um, have a conservation assessment or at least a condition report writing up the um, state of the piece. It also proves that that piece existed to your insurance company and sets, sets a benchmark for the um, condition itself. So if you get from Milwaukee and you get to Chicago and there's a chip, well, you have proof that something happened in between. It's just amazing, you know, because I look at our, our art ovation program and the art that we have in throughout our buildings and then working with you, it's just amazing. Well, we're so pleased to have this connection with you, Trish. Um, we can see how much art means to the people who live and work at Ovation. Um, the fact that you have pieces designed into the structure of the building with your stained glass and art and sculpture in every room and corridor, it's really a joy to visit. Oh, it's so nice. All right, I'm gonna get on to the fun facts about you. One of the things I've been really thinking about is, what do you collect? Personally, Personally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, everybody has to collect something, uh -huh. and um, I actually, my husband and I actually collect uh, vintage tiles. So, um, starting mostly, I guess, Victorian, and we have a really nice grouping of English Nouveau tiles, wow. uh, but a lot, a lot of really wonderful American-made tiles too, from you know the early 1900s. So. We have those all over the place. <laughs> wow. Yeah, how are they displayed? We have some um, laid out on tables that uh -huh. we just don't use those tables. We don't yeah. have kids, so yeah. we can do this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we also have special yeah. tile racks um, that are made of bent steel that we can just slide the tiles into. That's cool. My husband is a ceramic artist, so he makes tiles, um, uh -huh. both molded and hand-built and hand-carved. So we, we just really appreciate all the work and energy that goes into making oh, something. It must be a beautiful, beautiful collection. I know, I remember you showing me pictures and I was like, oh, that is, <laughs> that is great. That is great. What would you recommend for somebody if they were just starting out and buying art? What would you say to them? I would say, um, number one, do your homework. Okay. Um, get a broad perspective of what's available and how it's available. Are you purchasing through an auction? Are you purchasing through a local gallery? Maybe you're purchasing directly from an artist. Get to know who you're purchasing from. <clears throat> um, the most important thing I think is going with your eye and your heart. Does it speak to you? Does it mm -hmm. make you feel happy? Does it make mm -hmm. you smile? 
um, don't buy something because it fits a wall over your couch. I mean, granted, you want it to look good in the room, but it doesn't have to match your couch. You, you really want something that makes you feel happy every time you see it. Oh, great advice. Well, this has been such a pleasure. I am so glad to have you here as my guest today. And, you know, once, once this pandemic, um, it seems like we're going in totally the right direction. We're gonna bring a group out there one of these days because we have so many people here who enjoy our art and have just beautiful art in their own homes. And we would love to share it with you. Well, thank you. We would love to have you and your residents and your staff come and visit, and we'll be happy to make a special event for that. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. It was just a pleasure having you today. Thank you, Trish. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for viewing Partners in Ovation. If you liked us, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment on Facebook and LinkedIn. We would really appreciate it.